But let's focus on one of the big movers, Genus Pa. Well, there are two pieces of news. One is that GIC will be putting in money into the company via preference issue. And the second one is they've entered into a partnership with GIC to build smart metering uh, solutions platform. Now, uh, and the, both companies together will invest closer to $2 billion for this smart metering venture. Uh, to understand more about this, we have uh, Mr. Jitendra Agarwal, the Joint Managing Director who joins us on the show. Hi, Mr. Agarwal. Good morning and congratulations on this investment. We want to understand a couple of factors, though. One, from the preferential issue, you're going to get closer on 500 crores. What will that money be used for? And also, you're talking about this platform has a pipeline of closer on $2 billion. How much does the listed entity, Genius Bar, have to invest in that? Yeah, good morning, everyone. So these 590 crores will be uh, primarily used for the AMISP platform. As you rightly said, this platform will have two partners. GIC comes with 74% and Genius comes with 26%. So this platform will be primarily used to take care of the AMISP market. There's a very large opportunity available in the country with 250 million meters to be installed in the next three to five years. So this platform is created to make the best use of this opportunity. So you're saying that the money that you're that the company will be getting from GIC, that 519 crores odd, will be in turn used for the JV. Is that correct? The, for as your contribution largely, in the JV. Largely, that will be used in the JV, and some portion will be used for the day-to-day -day needs. Okay, sir, but you have to put in close to five twenty million dollars, right? If the overall platform investment is two billion dollars. You have a 26% stake, which means your investment needs to be $520 million. And that's a lot higher than, you know, the 500 crore or the GIC is putting in. So can you tell us how you will be putting in the balance money? So this, this 500 crores is a just a, one sort of a investment done by the GIC. But overall, the company has a very strong books. And this business, Genus comes as a system integrator. And when we come as a system integrator, a lot of our working capital is used for uh, funding this particular joint venture or this particular JV. So GIC comes as a financial partner, Genus comes as a system integrator, and together this platform is built to create 250, uh, to, uh, to support the 250 million meters smart meter opportunity. And so this will... $2 billion dollars. Yeah. Uh, right. Got it. Got it. No, just to uh, sort of tie in the numbers, uh, as my colleague said, you will need to, uh, there is a, is this all going to happen in a very staggered way? Uh, so that gives you time. Yes. Uh, could Absolutely. you tell us the time, talk us through the timelines? So it will take three to four years to, uh, three to four years will be required for such kind of investments. Three to four years for this, uh, this platform to get this money, the total $2 billion from uh, seventy-four percent from GIC and the rest from you. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, okay. So, you'll you'll put in money slowly and continue to bid through these platform for these orders uh, which the government is, uh, which uh, for these tenders which the government is putting out. That's the plan. Absolutely. That's the plan. Okay. And you said that this uh, f the five hundred and nineteen crores that is only the first tranche, which means you're open to getting more. You're open to diluting more. No, not right now. We are definitely not open to diluting more. All right. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, I just want a question. This entire, I mean, uh, GIC is going to be holding 15% in the company. Instead of doing this JV, couldn't you have just, uh, you know, told them to make a bigger investment in the listed entity itself? And also at some point of time, post the JV picking up pace, will you look at bringing both these two entities together? That's the listed entity, Genius Power, which all the shareholders will be having a lot of interest in uh, understanding. And also this JV, once it scales up, will you bring it together? Could you merge it at some, some point of time? No, we are not looking to merge it at any point of time. There's a very clear understanding. With, you have to understand these two models. Genus Power is a system integrator. JV is okay. the platform. The platform is going to work for the AMISP projects, where Genus Power is the exclusive rights as a system integrator. So Listco will have a tremendous business opportunity as a system integrator. Okay. So you will listen. Uh, okay. No, uh, so so for the uninitiated, could you break it down simply? Uh, the the listed entity will be a customer of this. Uh, will be a service provider to this platform. Absolutely, listed Got company it. is the system integrator for this platform. Okay. okay. What kind of uh, so what, just give us the size of the opportunity then, as you see it, 
uh, you know, from this for the platform and for the company after this tie-up? So the size of the opportunity, as I said, 250 million meters we are required in the next five years, which is very, very large. So what we envisage is at least 30 million meters in the next three years. That is the size of the opportunity. That is the kind of uh, business Genus and GIC are going to do through this platform. And what's the uh, value of each meter? If you do 30 million meters in the next three years, could you quantify that in rupees and crores? So meters are a very custom built product, but if you take a benchmark price, it comes around 3,000 to 3,500 rupees per meter. Okay, all right. Uh, and Mr. Agarwal, you know, in the near term, that's FY24, these ambitions are very, very good. And now you have an order book to back you up as well. But for FY24, what kind of revenues can you do? I think you were talking about 1,500 crores. Do you stick by that? And on that base, how, how much will you grow? What is the margin band you look at uh, from year on? And more importantly, your cash conversion days are very high. Close to 300 days as of the last year. So what is the guidance on that? Three numbers, revenue, margins, and oh. cash conversion days. On the revenue, as I have told earlier in the investor call also, we, we maintain the guidance of 1200 to 1400 crores. So the reason I'm not changing this guidance, because the order, though the order book is very good, but all these AMISP projects have started flowing in from the first uh, quarter of this calendar year. And they take minimum six to nine months for the preparation, for the development, and before you get onto the ground and revenues start coming. So from the last quarter of this financial year, you will see a tremendous jump in the revenues. So I maintain the same guidance. When it comes to operating margins, they will definitely improve. We will surely be at the pre-COVID levels and it will only grow uh, in the times to come. So these right. are the two yeah, Mr. Agarwal, uh, yeah. cash conversion on the days. Cash conversion, yeah, on the cash conversion days, this will improve significantly because this whole AMISP business model is changing. Earlier, we used to supply meters to the utilities directly and then now there will be a direct debit facility to the platform and platform will be investing to in the company they will they will be paying us on time so cash conversion days will come down significantly in the next six to nine months okay uh, you know i don't know if i got a zero here or there but you said three thirty million you the platform should do 30 million meters the new platform in the next three years uh, that, that and you gave us a number of three thousand five hundred rupees per meter that is uh, ten thousand crores uh, opportunity over three years is that the number only as a only as a manufacturer of electricity meters uh, for the, so for you this, uh, pl these yeah so you have to understand there are two opportunities in the front of genus genus as a system integrator genus as a meter manufacturer so in the list when we do the whole work as a system integrator this 3500 guidance or 3000 rupees guidance i'm giving you as a meter manufacturer so that is Correct. the kind of opportunity front of us as a manufacturer. But when you talk of a system integrator, this opportunity goes further high. Hmm. No, so uh, the manufacturer is the uh, is the list is, is the uh, is the platform, list right? Co. No, manufacturer is the list co. Okay, the ten thousand yes. crore revenue opportunity is for the uh, listed entity, and this uh, the and the system. Entity. Okay, and the system integrator is the uh, platform. And there you're saying that the revenue opportunity becomes larger. Uh, platform will be the AMISP. Hmm. And platform is going to do uh, the work as an AMISP where the system integration work will be done by the Listco company. And as an exclusive list, okay. uh, system integrator for the platform. Got it, sir. Got it. Uh, and you're saying that these two entities will remain separate. That is part of the agreement with GIC. There is no plan to... Uh, uh, you know, merge them uh, down the line or one picking up a stake in the other or anything of that sort, completely separate uh, entities? Not currently. I, all right. And Mr. Agarwal, just very quickly, that revenue number you gave for this year, some part of the street was talking about 1,500 crores. Uh, I think you mentioned something like 1,200 to 1,400 crores. Could you clarify on that? So as I gave the guidance earlier also, I don't want to be very ambitious on that okay. guidance. I'm maintaining the same guidance of 12 to 1400 crores, and there's a very clear reason behind it. All these AMISP projects, it takes six to nine months to come on the okay. ground. So you will okay. see a tremendous revenue growth from the uh, end of this financial year. Okay. Uh, Mr. Garwal. Just, Rima, yeah. just one okay. thing. You know, in, just in percentage terms, uh, very simply speaking, uh, out of uh, what percentage of the platform order value comes to the 
uh, company, the listed company, if you can give us that number. So the percentage will hover anywhere from 60% to 70%. So uh, out of 100 rupees order which the platform gets, 60 to 70 rupees can come to the listed entity. That's what you're telling us. Yes. So this will be 1.2 billion dollars at least. Out of the $2 billion opportunity. Absolutely. All right, uh, Mr. Agrawal, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, good speaking with you. Uh, it's a pleasure having you with us here. And uh, uh, so that's the big uh, mover of the day yesterday. And of course, a very large transaction, one of its kind really uh, in the smart meter uh, sort of segment, uh, 154 on that one. Uh, by the way, we're just uh, sort of uh, coming up to the market open, which is uh, going to be with us in just a bit. Uh,